Counterfeit money has been around since the invention of money itself and remains widespread today. It is produced for personal profit or to destabilize governments. Punishment has always been severe. Historically, the death penalty was popular, as were various forms of mutilation, such as cutting off the right hand. Unfortunately, no one has discovered the ultimate deterrent. After all, the counterfeit only has to pass as genuine once, making the counterfeiter's job relatively easy. There are two types of counterfeiting, producing material that passes as legitimate payment and enters circulation, and making or altering historical coins or currency to fool collectors. Throughout most of history, struck or cast copies of circulating coins were produced using base metals that were often coated with a thin layer of silver or gold. The rise of paper money in the 18th century made counterfeiting easier and less expensive, providing a vast opportunity for illicit profit. In the Roman Republic, silver-plated counterfeits of the denarius became so common that authorities attempted to combat the problem by creating a planchet with serrated edges, known as a serratus, which presumably would be more difficult to plate. Counterfeiters immediately copied the new design, making the effort futile. When circulating coins were made out of precious metals like gold and silver, it wasn't unusual for people to file, scrape, or clip bits of metal from them. To combat this, mints added adornments to the third side of the coin, the edge, such as reading or lettering. If these adornments were affected, it meant the coin had been altered. US cents and nickels didn't have the security feature because their metallic content was not valuable enough. Edge reading and lettering on our modern coins is now a matter of tradition and only serves as a decorative purpose. The father of modern physics, Sir Isaac Newton, was an intense anti-counterfeit crusader and encouraged the use of reeded edges. He served as master of the Royal Mint for almost 30 years and would frequently go undercover, investigate, and apprehend counterfeiters himself. There's even evidence that Newton used his authority to torture and execute counterfeiters unless they provided information that could lead to other arrests. Although Newton is sometimes lauded as the inventor of reeded edge, European coins from as far back as the early 1500s featured reeded edges. The most famous example of counterfeiting to try to cause a country's economic collapse occurred during World War II, when Nazi Germany attempted to undermine Britain's economy by producing counterfeit 5, 10, 20, and 50 pound notes as part of Operation Bernhard, the largest counterfeiting operation in history. Millions of notes were produced by the forced labor of skilled concentration camp prisoners. Although few of the notes made it into circulation, Britain took no chances, recalling all notes over five pounds and issuing new designs after the war. In the early 1970s, a large number of high-relief 1907 St. Gaudens $20 double eagles entered the collector market. The coins were made from the correct alloy of gold and were considered legitimate until a tiny Greek letter, Omega, was discovered engraved within a claw of the eagle. Fake Indian head $10 gold eagles and $3 gold pieces were also identified, all bearing the same Omega mark. The identity of the talented and confident Omega man is still a mystery, and the incredible counterfeits he or she created have become famous as collectibles in their own right. Counterfeiting coins remains a substantial issue today, but almost exclusively for the collector market. Experts at authentication and grading companies are trained to identify minute indications that a coin is not genuine, but many fakes still find their way to the collector market. Counterfeiters have even become adept at producing fake plastic slab holders. The best way to avoid buying or receiving a counterfeit numismatic collectible is to educate yourself. Learn what things to look for that can indicate a possible fake. Authentication and grading services are available to determine if a piece is genuine. More effort is spent by governments on preventing paper money counterfeiting, since banknotes are primarily counterfeited for circulation and thus affect the credibility of a nation's currency. Security measures on banknotes around the world include color shifting ink, portrait watermarks, security ribbons, embossed ink, microprint, rolling color patches, infrared properties, holograms, luminescent ink, and more. The Money Museum displays a case in the History of Money exhibit specific to counterfeiting and how genuine and fake pieces compare.